hello friends now we'll uh, discuss other important component of ipm that is pest management by modifying insect development and its behavior through both natural and synthetic chemicals in this lecture i am going to deal with the communication in insects behavioral aspects of the insects then semiochemicals and pheromones allele chemicals then chitin synthesis inhibitors then afterwards attractant repellents and also antifeedants on this earth each and every organism has developed its own communication system in vertebrates the communication system is through auditory and visual but in case of insects apart from auditory and visual the another system of communication is through olfaction and also tactile in insect the communication system through olfaction it is strong and this olfaction behavior of insect can be well established and this can be used in pest management programs so insect behavior it is through producing some chemicals either by insects and also some host plant species some of the volatile compounds and also non volatile compounds produced by the plant species actually they deter the insect species by changing its behavior this was involved in the pest management strategy through trap cropping system so another way of uh, modifying insect it is through food lures and also some of the baits which are being used in the pest management program both in uh, household pest management and also field insects however even though you have long history of adoption of this uh, technology but its adoption in agriculture system is slow it is because of availability of cheaper chemicals which have broad spectrum activity against various insect pest and at the same times they are cheap they are quite convenient to handle and thereby farmers they opted the chemical protection than other means of protection when they learnt about uh, the more uh, bad or ill effects of these uh, broad spectrum insecticide to quote one example here when the ddt was used in uh, usa the same ddt residue was about 0.00002 ppm in the lake water when the fish was taken out from the same lake the magnification of this ddt was magnified to 15 times so the residual toxicity of this hazardous chemical was accumulated in uh, fishes and thereby environmental protection agency it uh, seriously acted upon this uh, ddt and uh, ultimately they banned this ddt product from the use in agricultural ecosystem and uh, started using uh, the alternative management uh, practices among them it is uh, one is manipulation of pest behavior so it is uh, one method which is uh, based on the principles of uh, ecology since it doesn't have any ill effects on the environment and it is going to save the natural fauna and uh, flora also so these chemicals which affect growth development biology and the ecology of pest species can be differently looked into so thereby these chemicals which are actually safe to the natural enemies since they have low toxicity in the nature so for their communication insects most of the times they depend on chemicals and their chemical cues so this phenomena was used in the pest management the much work on the chemical technology it is going on since 3 to 4 decades and this resulted in the discovery 
identification and synthesis of specific chemicals so that regulate the and also mediate which affects the development and species behavior of the insect. Such chemicals when they use they cause premature death that is uh, abnormal molting or metamorphosis at the same times other chemicals they are going to attract or repel towards the source. So this uh, behavioral alteration of the chemical it is uh, defined by scientists called Foster and Harris during 1997. The manipulation of pest behavior is uh, defined as the use of stimuli that either stimulate or inhibit a behavior and thereby it is going to bring out some changes in the expression of the insects. So the another chemicals which changes the behavior of the insects they are called semiochemicals. So the word semion it is actually derived from a Greek word it that means to say a mark or signals. So those chemicals that are able to modify behavior of a insect in uh, its perception which is going to cause changes behavior at uh, very low level at very low level they are called semiochemicals. These semiochemicals can be divided into naturally secreted ones and which are not naturally secreted ones. So under naturally secreted semiochemicals we have pheromones and also allelochemicals. So these pheromones they actually communication between own species and uh, this is between intraspecific that is that means to say that is between two different species. Again in this uh, uh, we have allelomones, chiromones, synomones, antimones and also nemones. So in pheromones we have two groups that is uh, religious pheromones and also primer pheromones. So from the point of pest management we have more information about uh, these pheromones which are being used since many years for uh, modifying the insect pest behavior for the advantage of the pest management program. In uh, next class we are going to deal more about these pheromones and their application in the pest management program. Thank you.